Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new design team project for Graphic 45 to share with you. And uh, if you are looking for some uh, more inspiration, I will post a link to the blog and Pinterest and uh, Ning site below. And there you can find a lot of uh, fun uh, projects uh, using uh, their papers. So I made a layout and uh, here I used the new papers, uh, uh, Good OL Sports. And it's so colorful and uh, beautiful images to cut out. And uh, I made this for my sister and the family. They are playing golf, so I thought I made one for her as a gift. And uh, yeah, I can tell you a bit what I um, did here. And um, for the background here, I used to do some quilts before I started with a scrapbook. And uh, this is uh, Bargello or Bagello, we see, say in Norway. And uh, it's uh, made out of uh, strips of the papers and uh, glue them together in uh, about uh, 15 inch high, I think. And then I cut it the other way and uh, moved them. And I have some pictures on my blog um, uh, how I did it. So uh, I will link to that below if you like to know how to make it. So it's great for backgrounds. And I think it's fun to combine some. Uh, I did uh, sewing and uh, and, and uh, other craft uh, projects. And uh, yeah, I can tell you a bit um, around here. I popped up. I made a frame from black uh, cardstock and cut it out in half inch. And then I used some um, twine or a string and colored it in uh, black with um, dilution ink spray. And um, so this is the first one here, and it was a, a thick uh, sort of uh, a string. And uh, here I um, braided some other uh, string and uh, it went over with black soot um, distress ink. And that I also did a bit on the edges here on uh, around to uh, make a bit uh, shadow effect and uh, so it creates some depth in uh, this frame here and um, yeah and I also used the vintage uh, photo over so I can maybe tell you a bit here I would have taken in the picture but uh, my sister's computer was uh, broken so she couldn't uh, get the pictures out so then I would have placed the picture inside here so I hope she can take some new and uh, put in here later so this is just fastened with a repositional tape here and I use some pop dots under here to pop it up a bit and also on this uh, champion and here it says uh, golf and this is a uh, stamping up punch and a Martha Stewart uh, alphabet uh, punch over here and I also popped up uh, these and uh, glued them on some twine here and uh, yeah and um, here uh, down here I have some petaloo flowers and I punched out some uh, golf uh, balls <laughs> and I uh, <laughs> hope they look like that so and also he's uh, playing uh, almost uh, one in a hole here so and these flags uh, these were short but I cut them a bit longer and this was a football that I made as a hole here and also one here and uh, yeah and all uh, this is covered up with a Claudine Helmut Multimat to make it a bit stiff and strong. And I also popped these up on uh, two layers uh, pop dots. And uh, yeah, I have, uh, these are loose so they can be taken out. So it's just for some, uh, if she wants to do some journaling or, uh, or um, yeah, she can take them out if she likes to. So I made a banner here and uh, a little tag here. So this uh, was my project and I also glued it on uh, some uh, black uh, shipboard so it can be hang up. Take it, turn it around so I'll show you my <laughs> glue strings to use my hot glue gun. So I have to take them out and here she can hang it up. So I also have some extra of this black here so if she likes it she can uh, take it on here and hang it up. 
So I'm also in the making of uh, one more. So I uh, thought I'd share a bit how I'm going to build it up and uh, what I'm thinking. So maybe you can get some ideas for uh, some easy uh, layouts. So I will take this out of the way and show you a bit here. So if you are going to hang it up it's uh, great to have a shipboard under here. And uh, this I got from AccuCat uh, Crafts. It's a really good uh, quality. And then you can take a background paper. And uh, for this project here, I, uh, when I cut out images and so, I save uh, the frames. But here I, I just cut out for, to get all this frame in one. So uh, this uh, you can place uh, photos under here. So, and if you um, take some pop dots behind here, it creates some more depth in it uh, as a shadow effect here. You can see it different when I lay it down. So, and then you you can use it as it is in some small uh, decoration here, or you can um, uh, take some images and uh, yeah, you can see I have the same as on the other here, and place them on the sides here, and uh, maybe one on the middle. And uh, you can also, if you want this to stand up a bit, uh, out a bit, you can take some pop dots and glue them over like so. And um, you can also make a, a bow out of the paper. And here I used the Claudine Helmut Multimat so I could form it. So you can maybe hang that on the top. And uh, also cut out uh, these flags here. So maybe go on the side or here and uh, then you also can if you want to do some journaling or not taking pictures inside all the way you can put in um, some cardstock here back like so and uh, if you don't have uh, six by uh, four photos you can also uh, put in some um, uh, pattern paper and uh, glue a small picture here have some more here <laughs> just for showing you so a lot of uh, things you can do and uh, build it up easy. So, and you can also put in a postcard here on the back on something, maybe under here. <laughs> so, change uh, this a bit. So, so if you have a series of uh, photos for, uh, with some sports and so, you can uh, uh, get in a lot of uh, photos here. So, I'm here for some journaling. So, hope this uh, gives you some ideas. You can put in some tickets if you like to. Up in the corner. Just uh, use what you have uh, for embellishments. And uh, if you have some banner, this uh, I only have the 12 by 12 now. And I think it comes with uh, some banners also. And you can uh, take some banners over here. and. Uh, maybe some pockets from the cardstock cutouts or you can just uh, cut out some from the paper line and uh, and use uh, that like so so I hope uh, you get some ideas how you can build it up uh, very easy and fast so it's a lot of uh, fun you can do with this paper line and you can take on some how much you like to and uh, you don't have to have uh, much embellishments at all, it's uh, the photos who's going to show up here. So, um, hope this was uh, helpful and that you want to try to make some layouts if you haven't tried it before. It's uh, uh, many ways you can build it up. You can also use just one frame on uh, the back, on the paper. Um, if you take this off, I'll show you a bit here. <laughs> So, and uh, if you're uh, thinking of ha having it here about, you have to, um, what do you call it, um, anchor it on the side so it's not by itself. So then you can take on, uh, maybe anchor it to the side here. So, and also this lady, then you anchor it on the side. So, and you can put on photos over here, a little frame over here again, if you have uh, one more frame. And you can put on some of these behind for some journaling and uh, show you with this one. 
so if you put one more frame over here so uh, just play with it and uh, have fun it's really great uh, to uh, showcase uh, photos you like to to show up and hang it on the wall so uh, thank you so much for one uh, watching everyone and have fun creating take care bye bye